We just received an update on those two American astronauts who are stuck on the International Space Station. Talking about Butch Wilmore, Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. They flew up on the first crewed test flight of Boeing Starliner capsule back in June. Remember that? They were supposed to be up in space for about a week. But because of issues with the Starliner, the astronauts still cannot safely return to Earth. Let's bring in NBC News correspondent Marissa Parra. Marissa, we know NASA is evaluating the safest possible way to bring these astronauts back to Earth. What more did we learn today? Hey guys, so everybody is wondering if there's a decision that's been made and the big headline I'll tell you right now, no decision was announced today. And we're not expecting that uh, at least until end of next week at the earliest. Um, they kind of alluded to it could be early the week after. Um, but in terms of what we heard today, they kind of walked through the decision making process. They are still looking at those thrusters and they kind of explained all of the safety aspects that they're analyzing here. They said that Starliner is still considered part of their emergency contingency plan if something should require them to come down immediately. Butch and Sunny, of course, who you're seeing on your screen there. Um, and they were uh, reassuring the public that they're considering many different things here, including um, of course, the exposure to radiation that an extended stay would have Butch and Sunny, but also telling people, reminding people that this is not the first time that a stay has been extended. Of course, we remember Frank Rubio, he holds the single American record for the longest space flight. It's 371 days. I want to take you to a full screen of a quote that we saw and heard today, because remember, this was not a video press conference, saying, quote, if Butch and Sunny do not come home on Starliner and they are kept aboard the station, they will have about eight months on orbit, we have done multiple successful long duration missions, even up to a year. So they are weighing different factors, as we talked about. And in terms of that flight readiness review, which would be where that final decision is announced, uh, we're thinking sometime end of next week at earliest uh, and maybe possibly the week after, guys. So, Marissa, this is all from NASA today, right? So have we mm -hmm. heard anything from Boeing on this whole thing? Yeah, and that's a great question. I was curious if Boeing was going to be on the call. They were not on the last update, uh, the last conference that they had as well. Um, the last public statement we've heard from Boeing, they put out uh, earlier this month on August 2nd, saying and reiterating what we've heard from them before, that they remain confident in Starliner's ability to return to Earth with the crew on board. And remember, uh, right now, when we're waiting for a decision, a final decision on how Butch and Sunny will come home, uh, NASA has been very clear uh, recently Recently, that they are open to all possibilities, whatever is the safest option. So as Boeing is saying that they remain confident that Starliner can bring them home, yeah. um, it is possible that we could have these astronauts, possible, come home on SpaceX instead. Marissa, briefly, you mentioned how the astronauts are doing, but do they have enough resources? Mm -hmm. I'm talking food or anything <laughs> else, really. <laughs> yeah, and that's an important question, and it's actually the one I hear the most often. It's probably the least concern because they regularly have resupply missions up to the ISS. They I've already seen exactly that. They have plenty of food. I think from today's update, it sounds like the bigger concern is the exposure to radiation. That's the thing that they're keeping an eye on the most. But they definitely have their food. No shortage of that space food. I'm Good. sure they're excited to come back to real food down here on Earth. <laughs> I know I would be. Marissa Parra, <laughs> thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.